So then guys, we're in here back with a banger. It's a lovely wet day, as you can tell. We're back on the Hagley Road, and we're gonna to head to the place that's right next to Kolbe, which is an amazing uh, Persian restaurant that we went to a couple of weeks ago. And yeah, definitely check that. I'll put the link below. But we're gonna to head to Cafe Rumi, which serves, I think, Persian, Turkish type breakfast. And uh, I'm pretty hyped, because I haven't had that type of breakfast before. Well, Turkish I have, but not Persian. So yeah, let's give it a go. So guys, this is my first hands down experience of a Persian breakfast and uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Just looking at the menu, there's a lot of variety and they've got daily specials on the weekend. Thankfully, we're here on a Saturday, so we've got one of the daily specials. There was another one on here called the Cal Patch, which she said was like organs and ear and like loads of meats just mashed up. I don't know, I didn't feel up to it, maybe next time, but um, yeah. And I've also noticed they've got brains on the menu which is, uh, yeah, I haven't seen that anywhere else in the UK so far. But first off, we've got the drinks. Yeah, Sabrina's gone for a spice chai latte, but I've actually got a, uh, a saffron tea, and it looks amazing. Like, the whole setup, there's like a candle underneath. I don't know if that's to keep it warm or make it look nice, but both, either way, I'm vibing with it. And then there's like a plate of uh, random things on there. There's like flowers, cinnamon, yeah. Oh, thank you. And then I think there's like bits of uh, sugar. I think these these are like sugar. And yeah, I've, done, I've just done a little search Google with that um, calpatch. I've just had a look at it and yeah, I, it's not going to be a morning thing for me. I would probably try it maybe if it was like lunch or dinner, but yeah, there's a lot of organs, a lot of head, a lot of yeah brain. There's a lot of stuff going on in there. So I'd rather not risk it in the morning and uh, waste it. I need to try some of this uh, saffron tea because it looks, yeah really nice and it smells yeah incredible and it comes with like these uh herbs and uh and sugar i think it's sugar anyway but i'm gonna mix it in and uh i think it has started to melt to be honest mm. that reminds me very much of a of like a turkish tea but with the extra extra saffron in there it just gives it that extra boost of flavor oh, yeah i really like that yeah, it's mental how the uh, how the sugar it looks like kryptonite. It's just so weird, but so unique at the same time. It's really refreshing. It is quite strong tea. If you like uh, Turkish tea, then this this yeah will not disappoint. Well, food is here and it's looking amazing. Like I've got no words. I think just visually. It looks like it's gonna be one of my favorite places. Just looking at the bread, the bread here already is like magnificent. Something, it's like really crusty, but then it's got loads of sesame, loads of nigella seeds on there. Um, it's incredible. But first we're gonna hit into the, the Rumi breakfast, which is like a, it reminds me very much of like a Turkish breakfast. There's a lot of like uh, clotted cream, jams, uh, vegetables, cheese. So I think we're gonna hit into that first. And then they've also got an omelette on the side, so yeah, let's give this a go first. Yeah, if you just look underneath, there's a good sort of caramelization on the on the omelette. And it comes with like a, I think like beef sausage. But anyway, enough talking. Mmm, mmm, oh yeah, that is one good omelette. And they've added like extra chili flakes on there too, and some more sesame. It's like the flavor of it just amplified mm, that on its own is already an absolute slappage but yeah getting onto the the uh the components to the roomy meal we've got some uh, clotted cream with honey yeah let's get a bit of this bread on there dip it in i really like clotted cream as well it's probably not the healthiest thing on earth but you know it tastes amazing mm. Oh yeah, with that bread as well. It just like amplifies it. Cause you got that pure taste of the clotted cream. Nice sweetness from the honey. If it wasn't this fat and there weren't that many calories in it, I could just infinitely eat this thing. I've moved location as you can see, but this is just, yeah, insane. There's also like a, I think it's orange jam that they've got here. So I'm gonna try a bit of that too. 
I'm, I'm assuming it's orange dam, it might not be, but it looks yeah, very vibrant in, uh, in, in colour. Mmm, I don't know what that is. It might be apricot, maybe. It's very sweet, very, very sweet. But it tastes amazing. I, I honestly, I can't put my hands on what it is. But then there's also like a, a dark one, a dark jam, which looks like plum jam, maybe. I'm not sure. But again, gotta give it a go. In theory, that could probably be maybe a raisin jam or something. But it is quite sweet, so I'm gonna yeah, get a bit of the, the feta to sort of cut down the, the sweetness. Get a bit of those cucumbers on there. Mm. What I really like about this is there's loads of variety, a lot of sweet, a lot of savory, and you can mix it up. They just all blend in together. It's, yeah, one amazing breakfast. I also forgot as well, there's some uh, massive walnuts as well. They're quite salty. Balances really well with the sweetness of the jam and the clotted cream and honey. Yeah, these are a yeah, really fun addition. You can't overly taste the um, like the earthy flavor of the walnut. They might be pickled. They're really good either way. Already off to a good start. And that's just one item. We've got two more left and it's a really decent portion. I think it's like 14 quid, 15 quid for, for all of that. And you could, yeah, share it for sure. Moving on, we've also got the, the sujuk uh, eggs which is a bit like menamen, and it's got, yeah, loads of chili on there, loads of eggs, loads of pepper. And again, I've got to break a lovely bit of this bread off and just dip it in. From memory, dishes like this are incredible. Gonna get a bit of sausage, get a bit of egg, and that bread. Mmm. Yeah, that's incredible. I think it's like one of the best, like Menemem, Azure, Sheikh Shuka. Hands down, it's the best I had. I'm not gonna lie, it absolutely slaps. It's got a nice hint of paprika, got a bit of heat, it's meaty. The eggs are, are, are still melty to a degree. And then there's like some nice peppers in there too. It's all around. Yeah, hands down, one of the best I've had yet. They've even got some nice pickles with it to cut out the the juiciness and the fattiness of the of the uh, the egg dish. Mm, next up, this is the, the final dish, and uh, yeah, it's one of the the original ones I've got here. And this is the halim, so it's like a lamb porridge, and it's just mashed up um, lamb put into a porridge. It's got a very very like slimy texture, so yeah, I've got big expectations this. And there's um, some cinnamon, some more sesame on top, and then there's some, I think there's olive oil too. And I think you have to add some uh, some sugar in here. So uh, yeah, let's, let's do that and see, see how it's gonna be. Oh, yeah, this just looks insane. So let's get a bit of bread again. And uh, it's super slimy as well. Yeah, that's really, really nice. It's really meaty though. Mm. It's very unique. The texture is just so pure. Mm. It's not very sweet. You'd expect it to be sweet when you put the sugar in, but it isn't at all. It's very meaty. It's very like creamy in a way. I don't think I've quite had something like that. I'm, if I'm being brutally honest. It's uh, yeah, really nice. I mean, the texture of it's like, almost velvety. Mm. I think this is a perfect dish for a cold winter's day. Yeah, guys, all in all, everything's been amazing. Like, beyond expectations, like, dare, dare I say. But the halim, yeah, this is one incredible dish. Very unique. I don't think it's gonna be for everyone, but if you're very adventurous, adventurous I would, yeah, highly recommend it. Saffron tea is perfect. Um, and then the, yeah, the roomy breakfast is just incredible. Oh, and I forgot as well, the uh, sujuk eggs. Yeah, amazing, absolutely banging, the best I've had. I'd say all in all, this place absolutely slaps. And the, uh, yeah, the settings in here, plenty of seating, 
very chill, very uh, crunchy, morningy type vibes I'm getting here. Hope you guys have liked this video. Please like, comment, share, subscribe below, and I'll uh, catch you on the next one. Salam.